Alrighty, uh, been a hot minute since I've done a guide or anything. Uh, I just got my son put down to bed, so hopefully uh, he will stay quiet long enough for me to make something without him uh, screaming. So this is going to be a quick one. It's just installing Map Studio for Elden Ring. Um, I think people have been waiting for that. Um, so I'm just going to make a video on installing it, setting it up, that kind of thing. And then uh, as I play with it more, I'm going to make guides on... Um, usage and uh all that kind of stuff as well but uh you'll get it from the server name modding discord um in the tools and resources tab there will be a link to this server um both in my um description down below and then also if you're already in my um discord server i have a channel on there that literally all it is is a link to the server name uh, tools and resources page here so you'll just want to go ahead and click on the little RAR file down here um, depending on when you see this there might be a more um, updated version but currently we're on the June 21st release here so we just click that and then we got it right over here as a little RAR file um, I'm just going to minimize discord now because we don't need it and then we're just going to take this and drop it in my Elden Ring mod stuff uh, folder here um, if you're running Windows or anything like that, like most people, um, it's entirely possible that Windows will flag this as a Trojan virus. It's not. Um, I've used this a lot. It's just the way that Windows detects crap, and especially with like modding software and things like that. It's don't worry. If you have questions, you can you can ask me or whatever. But it's fine. Um, so here we have it right here. We're just gonna go ahead and seven zip and then extract it to its own folder here, right up here. I'm just gonna enter into it here, and then we're just gonna run Map Studio. So there's a couple of things here. There are some stuff that will require the game to be unpacked via UXM, and then some stuff will run um, without it being unpacked. As far as I'm aware, um, even with your game packed, you can go up to file here and then go to new project, name it, whatever you want. I'm just going to name it. Yes. I always name shit. Yes. Project directory. Uh, so this is going to be where your changes will go from your, uh, modding and, and adjustments made in this. So the typical best place to put that is going to be inside of your mod folder for your um, Elden Ring like mod engine and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna navigate through all of my millions of things here to my mod folder right here, and then just select that folder. And then it's gonna want you to select your game executable, and then we will navigate to our game folder, click the game executable, boom. Um, Right here, you have some options. The only option that I really care for is just clicking the load default road names because that's going to actually like give you the names of some of the maps and regions and stuff like that as it populates it. So once you click create, it's just going to kind of spin its wheel for a second here. So over on the left side here, you've got all of this good good going on here. A lot of the stuff is named. Um, which is excellent. So let's just go do Stormville Castle since it's the first one here. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to right click on it and then click load map. And that will spin some wheels, load all the characters, objects, the world itself. And then you can navigate inside of Map Studio by holding down your right click uh, to turn the camera. And then you can use WASD to fly around in directions and then... Um, you would just look up or down to fly accordingly. I think that there's some other hot keys, but I haven't played with a lot. So um, it spit us out right in front of our main man's Margit here. Uh, so that's great. We can look at him. Uh, you can just click on him. And then over on the right side here, you're going to get all the property list of the uh, whatever it is you click on is how this works. So. Uh, it'll show you their NPC param ID, their think param, talk, all that stuff over here. So say there's an NPC that for some reason you 
aren't able to find an ID for inside of the app, then you could do it this way. Um, model ID right here. So that's always super helpful. This is actually a big thing that I did in Dark Souls 3 was using Map Studio to go identify stuff and then um, pull it from the game files or whatever. But um, so say you want to, I don't know, say we want to duplicate Margit here. Uh, so we have them clicked on and highlighted. You can go up to edit up here and you can click duplicate or you can do um, control D for duplicate. So we'll just click it right there and then we're just gonna grab this little arrow here and we're just gonna scoot him right over. So there's a second one now. Uh, you can duplicate pretty much any enemy or thing in the game uh, doing this kind of thing. So um, you can then go to file and then save this and it's gonna write it to your mod folder um, and then you could launch the game, run in, find Margit here, and there's going to be two of them. Um, only one will have a health bar because it's only scripted for one. The other one will have the little health bar over his head, that kind of thing. But you can do this to navigate different maps, areas, places, um, all that kind of stuff. But I'm thinking I'll definitely get more into this as I learn it better. I'll start making guides on... Um, more function and things like that but I just wanted to throw something out uh, for setup because I know sometimes that's helpful and I haven't done something for a while so there you are uh, hopefully it's helpful to some of you I'll have more coming soon take care